the collected works of shri ramana maharishi part 1 original works prose 1 self inquiry self inquiry is the first work the maharishi ever wrote it was written about 1901 that is when he was a young man of about 22 He was already a gyani or a sage in perfect realization of the self in the resplendent bliss of divine knowledge at that time he was living in virupaksha cave on the hill of arunachala a number of disciples had already gathered around him although he had not actually taken a vow of silence he seldom spoke and so wrote his replies to certain questions put to him by gambhiran seshaya one of the earliest devotees the later copied them in his diary after his death this diary was obtained from his brother the questions and answers were edited by natananda and published with bhagwan's approval under the name of vichar sangraham or self inquiry subsequently they were changed into the form of an essay the original form has been adopted in the present work there is no youthfulness or immaturity in the work the master wrote with the authority of full spiritual knowledge just as in his later years like all his expositions verbal as well as written This is concerned with the practical questions of the path to realization of the self never with barren theory however it does differ from later expositions in one important respect that is that it describes not only the path of self inquiry but others also meditation on one's identity with the self and a yogic path based on breath control he himself prescribed only self inquiry or submission to the guru he would say there are two ways ask yourself who am i or submit why did he include the mention of less direct and more elaborate methods in this first exposition the obvious contingent reason is that the disciple for whom it was written had been reading books about these various methods and asked questions about them perhaps also in a wider sense it is appropriate that there should first be a general exposition of various methods before the lifelong instruction in that which he prescribed certainly the other methods although described are scarcely recommended the breath control that is described is of course not mere physical exercise it is the spiritual significance of the exercise that makes it an elaborate science science is indeed the right word for it for it is a traditional indian science of self purification this makes it abstruse for the western reader who has no previous grounding in it especially as like all sciences it has its technical vocabulary which does not permit adequate translation without lengthy notes one has to remember that in writing this exposition the maharishi knew that he could count on a technical knowledge of the science in question in the person for whom he wrote the consolation for western readers is to remember that he neither recommended nor prescribed this path and his later works scarcely mention it it is not necessary for them to learn its technicalities aruna chale shiva